Hey guys, G5 Cosmos here for Game 5 Smash. So uh, when the Isabel reveal trailer first dropped, my first thought was I want to do uh, an analysis of this. But then I checked out uh, Game Explains analysis of Isabel's moveset and I thought they just, you know, hit the nail on the head. It was perfect. So I decided that I wasn't going to do it. But obviously I'm here now and that's actually because um, after kind of meticulously going over uh, all of the footage we have, uh, myself and crewmate Buddha discovered something that uh, Game Explain had wrong, and possibly everybody else did also. I haven't watched every analysis, but I haven't seen anybody point this out. But I'm also just going to go over her general move set and uh, everything that we see, and talk about potential competitive utility. So let's get right into it. Here we have the uh, reveal trailer. We're going to go right into it. Uh, also keep in mind, as far as I can tell, based on YouTube's uh, settings. These videos are all 30 FPS, or they're not 60 FPS, so uh, it's not worth trying to def determine frame data. Whoops. So we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about going frame by frame to find frame data. All right. So there we see her entrance animation dash attack. As we all know, it's very similar to Villager's dash attack, dash attack but she throws the pot instead of a flower pot or like a vase. I actually think it would have been really cool if they threw Link in somewhere in the scene. Like you know how they do these like little references and little jokes in the things because it looks very much like the kind of uh, pot you'd see in a Zelda game. So here we have Down Smash, of course. Uh, you can look at it frame by frame if you want. So Down Smash, mm, it's hard to tell if there's actually like a hitbox connecting with Falco. I think there is. I'm pretty sure there's a hitbox here that's connecting with Falco. Um, but it's quite likely that this will have a wind box or water box if such a thing exists because there's water involved. Uh, but it looks like it has a hitbox from what we can see here based on the way this is connecting with Falco here. I would say it does and hits both directions. Looks the same animation as Villager's Down Smash, more or less, just with a bucket of water instead of a shovel. All right. Okay, and there we see some taunts, although there's something very uh, special about that that I'm going to get to to talk about those taunts, but we see the first taunt um, was just her with the... Um, let me go back. The clapping taunt, and then we see this animation where she kind of jumps up like that. Now we're gonna come back to that, and I'll, I'll explain why uh, when we do so. But anyway, keeping on, we see forward smash here. We can take a look at it. Um, it's the party popper. As to how strong this is or how fast, it's kind of hard to say. But we can we can pretty much definitely conclude that that's forward smash. Okay, and here we have what's most likely side special, as pretty much people are speculating. Um, I've, upon first watching this, I thought it was a grab, but it's definitely not a grab, because we see her grab in other footage. And uh, so, from, from the way it looks, there are, there are a couple things interesting about this move. We're going to look at it in both trailers where they show it. Um, it looks like it can catch before it starts pulling back. My theory as to how this move will work is that you hold uh, side B, you hold the B button until you want the rod to release. So in this case, she doesn't really hold B. The player doesn't really hold B at all. They just throw it out because as soon as it reaches, as soon as it goes out completely, it, it attaches to Diddy Kong and then immediately starts pulling back in. Uh, and then we'll see after uh, Diddy Kong is brought to Isabel, she throws him upward, I believe, right? Yes, she throws him upward. So as we're going to see in later footage, she can actually throw somebody back as well. So it seems like there's some control over this after you actually get a hold of the character. Uh, this move is also something I'm going to be mentioning in terms of her like competitive viability theories. Uh, since this is almost definitely a command grab and will work on shield and uh, has quite a significant range from what, what we see, uh, this move could be very useful. It could be very dangerous. We don't get to see the move whiff, so we don't know how laggy it is. Um, but I'm going to talk about that a little later when we take a look at one of her other tools that could work in conjunction with this. All right, moving on. Okay, this just looks like her waking up animation from uh, like Jigglypuff's sleep, which was uh, really smart from Game Explained to point that out. Okay, this is obviously neutral air. Uh, I guess obvious is a bit, a, a bit, a bit ambitious to say, but you know, this is this looks just very much so like a neutral air. She does sort of a spinning animation, very similar to Ness neutral air. Seems pretty quick, but again, we can't find frame data um, with the frame rate of this video. And uh, it sends Yoshi, uh, it sends Yoshi away. I think. Let's see. Yeah, it sends them kind of slight diagonal up and away. Okay, so now this is something that I'm going to be looking very closely at. Um, the the down B, uh, which is most this is most likely a down special, is the most interesting thing about her move set and the thing that that brings us to uh, you know what me and my friend were talking about. So 
Um, from this footage, you see her plant it, much like Villager's tree. It sprouts out of the ground, like so. And then, without Kirby making contact in it, it comes out of the ground on this frame. So, it looks like here that Isabel is controlling when this comes out, because, uh, as we'll see in the later clip, it seems like it can be activated by someone stepping on it, which does not occur in this video. So, uh, we see this animation here, and we're saying, okay, you know, so this is how, this is the animation she makes when she's, you know, bringing the Lloyd or Gyroid, I'm not exactly sure what to call this, because I don't know Animal Crossing lore, but I'm going to call it both Lloyd and Gyroid, to bring it out of the ground, so this animation with her raising her uh, right hand up and, you know, having this expression on her face is how she brings the Lloyd out of the ground, okay. So, and then we see that, and it, it's able to work as an anti-air, because Kirby jumps in this, and he jumps over it, and it connects after he's there, all right? So we'll come back to that. There's Uppy, very similar to Villagers. Uh, she rides on a little bench instead. Uh, I'm not sure how the utility of that move or how anything works differently. We can't really tell. And this move was very confusing to me at first, but uh, after watching Game Explains video and slowing it down where we see this little blue spark here, whatever you want to call it, this blue star, uh, that in indicates that it's a smash attack. And since we've already seen her other two smashes, this is pretty much definitely up smash. Uh, as for Sonic stopping, that he's just actually stopping normally like the character stopping it this it happens to be a somewhat of a stop sign but it actually doesn't cause sonic to stop in any way that's just done uh as like a joke for the uh the video but uh, we don't actually know what the hitbox is going to be like on this uh similar to villagers in smash 4 and i guess villagers in ultimate it seems like it's primarily uh will hit above and in front of her it doesn't seem like there's anything to hit um, behind with this but as to what kind of hitbox this is going to have or how exactly it's going to work it's hard to say kind of gets bigger and smaller as we go through it. Okay, and moving on. All right, uh, that might have been just her idle animation. She's looking at food, and I believe that wraps this up. Yes, it does, okay. So now uh, we are going to, actually we're gonna do this. Now we're gonna go over to the other trailer. Okay, and press play. So this shows us a few different things, mostly the same footage. There's just up B again. Okay, there's neutral air, and the neutral air here appears like it may actually combo into. Uh, let me make sure this video doesn't have 60. Oh, this this one does have 60 FPS, so we can look at we can potentially look at frame data in this one. I'm not going to go crazy with that though, um, but I do want to see this neutral air. Let's see if we can find that because the neutral air, if it's if it's like frame frame three or five. And it could be a decent combo breaker or something like that. So let's take a look. I'm still not sure if, if I can trust this frame rate. So okay, so let's see. Now it seems like it's, it might be skipping frames, but if this is frame one, let's see one, two. Now this 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 looks like like the hitbox just is out immediately. I don't think we can really determine anything. So let's forget frame data. But anyway, she does a nair, and here we see the up tilt for the first time. It's pretty much definitely an up tilt based on what we've seen so far. And then a forward smash. I would say that the nair up tilt could be true based on looking at this. The forward smash probably not, but again, too soon to say. Just, you know, speculating. Okay, and here we see uh, the side B command grab again. Something interesting about uh, this shot is that... Um, but in both situations, she throws the fishing rod into water to make it seem like, um, you know, like that, that, like it's a fishing joke. You know, you, you're not going to fish out of water, although you will when you actually use this move. But the interesting thing this is this is on uh, Great Bay, and Great Bay doesn't actually have water unless my memory of melee is completely off. So I'm pretty sure the water here is just aesthetic, and uh, the Luigi that she grabs um, is just off stage and like falling down, but you don't see him until he gets pulled in, and they create the illusion that he's in the water. Um, so we're going to look at this. And here, something that, uh, once again, Buddha was really uh, keen to, to catch out is that when she throws out the fishing rod here, she actually lets it sit for a while. It doesn't seem like it pulls back instantly like it did in the other clip. Let's actually watch this at, um, at, full, at full speed. I see she throws it out, and then looking at every frame here, she kind of just waits. She like waits with that bobbing animation, like, and then pulls in. And uh, I'm thinking that you could potentially leave the rod out. And uh, and here you see she throws Luigi behind, which is clearly different from how she threw Diddy Kong upwards. So it definitely seems like you have control of what you're going to do after you succeed uh, with grabbing somebody with this move. Okay, and now here we see again um, the down B. Here she plants it. 
Uh, and unlike in the last clip where she immediately brought it out of the ground, she moves backward, and you see the Toon Link runs over it, and as soon as he steps on it, it activates immediately. Uh, we can see there's no animation from Isabel indicating that she's doing anything to bring it up. And in the other clip, we already saw the animation where she brings it up. So this, this pretty much confirms that it can be activated in both ways. Okay, there's a grab. Pocket, very much like villagers. Nothing really need to be shown there because both of those are villagers. And here's the final smash. Okay, so, 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 so. What I'm going to do now is show you guys something really interesting. So when we were watching this trailer, uh, specifically this one, uh, we watched it a bunch of times, and after we had concluded that that animation I showed you was the animation um, of Isabel bringing the uh, bringing the gyroid or the Lloyd out of the ground, we happened to just notice this. So right here, this is something that we all concluded was one of Isabel's taunts, and every video that I've seen has also mentioned this as a taunt. It's done right after the clapping taunt and uh, everything like that. But now, uh, let me actually um, do this for you real quick. Uh, excuse me. Go all the way to the top. I'm just going to open the same video so we can do a little a being here. And we want to find this right here. Okay. All right, so now, now let's take a look right here. We see this animation, and we see this. And granted, they're mirrored because she's facing a different direction, but this is exactly the same animation. So I was very confused by this at first, and I'm thinking so we speculated maybe she activates the uh, the gyroid with a taunt, but that seems very strange. And we're trying to wonder how, because um, in this clip, as you'll see, uh, the gyroid actually spawns on literally the same frame that this animation starts. Now granted, this is the 30 FPS video, uh, so there's, there's probably frames in between, but look how synchronized it is. It makes perfect sense. So after I was thinking about this way too much, Buddha just said to me, he says, wait a minute, how do we know this is a taunt? How do we know there's not a gyroid somewhere off camera in this shot, and this is actually not a taunt, and this is the animation that pulls out the gyroid? And after, you know, taking a moment to think about it, that makes the most sense. So what I'm going to say with fairly, fairly conclusively is that this animation you see right here, this is not a taunt. This is uh, Isabel pulling the gyroid out of the ground. So that confirms once again that she can pull it out of the ground at will and uh, that this is also not a taunt. Th this is, can be further potentially evidenced by the smoke you see. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that's too much evidence. I'm not sure how many taunts have like, like a smoke to their animation like this. They might. I'm not too sure. I haven't like studied taunts extensively, but yeah, that's going to be like the extra little interesting thing that we noticed is that this is not a taunt. Uh, almost definitely, this is Isabel pulling the gyroid out of the ground. And so, just uh, getting to the other thing, I was going to talk about like meta play with the uh, with the fishing rod. So now we don't know Isabel's complete move set, but it's possible that she's going to have more projectiles. She might have slingshot like villager. Um, she might have something basically. If she becomes a character that can condition players into shield kind of the way that Villager can, uh, she's going to be very scary at mid-range because she has the potential to condition you in, into shield, uh, like assuming she does have like a lot of options that do that beyond what we've seen. And then she has Fishing Rod, which will be a command grab so that she can grab you from that great distance if she pressures you into shield. Then let's assume the fishing rod is very punishable and has a lot of end lag. Say you you read that she's going to do the fishing rod and you spot rod and you spot dodge it, but then she can stand behind the um, the Lloyd in the planted in the ground the whole time. And if you want to try and punish her fishing rod in this situation, then you have to deal with that at trap to get over it too. So I feel like she's going to be a very like setup heavy trap heavy character that's going to keep you away. Probably going to be very annoying to fight honestly. Um, but yeah, that is Isabel, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this analysis. If there's anything you noticed that I didn't or anything you want to talk about, you can let us know in the comments. Also, if there's anything, opinion you have on this animation here that we see actually being it. And just let, let me know what you guys think of Isabel the character. Are you going to main this character? Are you excited for her in Smash? Let me know. Uh, feel free to subscribe as always, guys. Going to be pumping out more Ultimate content, uh, content as always, especially when the game comes out. There's going to be plenty. And thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.